Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun and in today's presentation, I'll be talking about how we can restructure the data. Restructuring the data is a very useful data manipulation technique. And once we restructure the data, we can go on to apply more complicated uh, analysis like MANOVA and such things. But to clarify the point about uh, restructuring the data, what I'll do is I'll pick up a data set in SPSS and practically show how we can restructure this particular data set. As you can see, this is the SPSS uh, screen. I'll go to file menu, then choose the option recently used data. SPSS displays 10 different files which I had recently used. I will choose the data which is called as test market. And as you can see here, this test market data contains four variables. The very first variable being the market ID. When I scroll down, you can see 10 different market IDs that are present and we have a sample size of 532. Second variable that I have is location ID. Now, each of these location IDs correspond to one of the areas. Suppose if you're living in uh, Bangalore, there may be different areas like Kormangla, Jayanagar, Shivajinagar, it could be Indranagar, so on and so forth. The first four rows, which corresponds to location ID one, may be for Jayanagar. And for each of the week, they have given the sales. For example, in Jayanagar, first week, the sales that was, uh, that was recorded was 70,000 rupees. For the same location of Jayanagar, second week sales was 56,000 rupees. Third week, it was 70,000 rupees. And in the fourth week, it was 69,000 rupees. Now, let's look at week two. Now, when we look at, uh, it's not week two, it is location ID two rather. The first location was for Jayanagar. The second one could be for Kormangala. Now, for Kormangala, the weekly sales is given to you. For each week, what is the sales that is recorded is being registered. Now. How many such location IDs that we have? We have 904 such location IDs and for each of the weeks, the corresponding sales is given. Now, the data is arranged in this particular format. Now, this is not very, very useful if I want to find out for each week, what is the sales? If I want to check what is the trend week on week, this kind of arrangement of data is not very, very helpful. I would rather have each week sales along the columns. That is create four columns in SPSS. The first variable would be weekly sales for the first week. Second week, what is the sales? Third week, what is the sales? And fourth week, what is the sales? Now, once we have week on week sales, that would be useful because I can then go on to do advanced analysis like MANOVA, so on and so forth. I can also do repeated measures. Now, how do we arrange the data in that format? Now, to get the data to that particular format wherein selected rows can be converted to columns. Here, I'm not talking about transposing the entire data set. I'm just restructuring selected rows. Let's say the first four rows have to be restructured into different columns. How do we do this? To do this in SPSS, there is an option which is called as restructure. I will go to the data menu. As I scroll down, you can see this option which is called as restructure. Let me click on this. Restructure the data. It gives you three different options. Here, you can restructure selected variables to cases or you can restructure the selected cases to variables. The third option is to transpose the entire data. Now, as you can see here, restructure selected cases into variables is applicable in my case. When do I use this? We can use this when we have groups of related cases. What do I mean by groups of related cases? As you can see here, this is one group of related cases, which corresponds to location ID one. 
So when you have groups of related cases that you want to rearrange so that the data from each group are represented as a single case in the new data set. So this option is very, very useful. I will choose the option next. Here, it is asking me for the identifier variable and the index variable. This is very, very important. Here, what I'll do is the location ID will be the identifier variable and the weak variable would be the index variable. I repeat, location ID would be the identifier variable and the weak variable would be the index variable. Let me choose the option next. Next again, next again, again, I don't need to do any of these things. All that I will do now is to finish this. It says sets from the original data will still be in use in the restructured data. Open the use sets dialog in order to adjust the sets in use. I can do this. Now you can see here what has happened. SPSS has created three variables. In fact, four variables, sales one, sales two, sales three, and sales four. The weak variable, which earlier was present, is now non-existent. Sales one corresponds to first week sales. Sales two corresponds to second week sales. And sales three corresponds to third week sales. Sales four corresponds to fourth week sales. And you can see here, each row is now unique with respect to the market ID. As you can see here, I have got 904 location IDs, but each of these rows is now very, very unique. No wonder the sample size also has reduced to 133. So this is how restructuring helps us. Now, if you want to look at only the first week sales or only the second week sales, you can go ahead and do it. You can also use these as the dependent variable for MANOVA. This is how we can restructure the data wherein we can have selected cases being molded into new variables. With this, I have come to the end of today's presentation. I thank you very much for watching today's presentation. I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you very much and have a great day.